The sun, the source of light and heat for our world. As much as the sun represents energy that sustains us, it also represents energy that remains uncaptured. We're going to need twice as much energy by 2050 as we're using today and about triple that much in 2100. Consider on any day, the amount of solar energy that falls on Earth is many times what the planet would ever consume. But how do we harness that power? Imagine solar cells that you could print the way you print a newspaper on large flexible strips of plastic that wouldn't crack or break. So it could be a building material as well as a, uh, as a source of energy. One research center is collaborating to find transformational solutions. It's a partnership called ANSWER. ANSWER is the Argonne Northwestern Solar Energy Research Center. Its mission, its role is to explore the basic science of solar energy. ANSWER was born out of the idea that science can advance more quickly if top people work together. The team includes researchers from Northwestern, Yale, the University of Chicago, and the University of Illinois, all working with the United States Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory. The goal, to make discoveries that are extraordinary and economical. So what we need is a different design, a different architecture that will allow us to make solar cells with high efficiency, but mass produce them in a cheap and effective way. Team members are seeking more cost-efficient ways to convert sunlight into energy that can be used, or for when the sun goes down, stored. To get there, they're studying photosynthesis. Can we replicate what plants do, and then can we take it one step further and do it a little bit better than plants do? They're using chemistry to develop solar fuels. In the case of solar fuels, we're trying to make it into a fuel like hydrogen or methane that we know how to burn. They're rethinking solar cells at the molecular level with the help of nanotechnology and the advanced photon source, one of the brightest X-ray sources in the world. What we're trying to do is understand how the existing cells work and how that will lead somebody else to be able to develop this great cell in the future. And they developed innovative architecture to make solar cells better at absorbing light and generating electricity. And it's a new concept, a new way to do it and uh, exciting first step. It's world changing one way or another. And basically, I think we really, really are convinced that we can do it. In all, the ANSWER team members face uncertainty, but have faith in science and themselves as they search for the answer.